Good morning students. In the last video, we have discussed how to check two FDs and what are the rules we need to follow. We have discussed it. Now for better understanding, I have taken one example and I will explain this concept. Okay. A relation R consists of attributes A, B, C, D and having two FD sets X and Y. The X consists of these are the FDs. Y consists of these are the FDs. Now they are, we need to check whether the two FD sets X and Y are equal or not. What is the step one? X can, Y can covers X if all the FDs of X are present in Y. Let me repeat again. We can call it as Y covers X. What is the step, what is the rules we have discussed? Y should covers X and x should cover y then i will say that y is equal to x or x is equal to y so first thing i want to check whether y covers x or not when i can say that y covers x if all the fds of x can be derived from y meaning this derived means either they should be present directly or they should be present indirectly are you able to understand let me see whether y covers x or not now if you see that FD A determines B is present Y. So this I have got. Means this I can, this FD I can derive from the set of FDs present in from the Y. B determines C is present directly. Okay. Now if you see that AB determines D, whether it is there, is not there in the Y. But then you cannot say that Y does not cover sex. We will see whether it covers indirectly or not. What is the meaning of indirect coverage is, okay, AB determines D. I want to determine from this one. What is the meaning of AB determines D? If I can calculate the AB closer from these FDs given from the Y, if it contains D, then I can say that AB determines D, FD is present. Let me repeat again, AB determines D is directly not present. So I need to check whether it is indirectly present in the Y or not. How I can check whether it is indirectly present or not. AB closer I will calculate from this one. These FDs I will calculate the AB closer. If I can get D from these FDs then I can say that AB closer D indirectly consists in the set of FDs given in the Y. So AB closer. AB closer will have A comma B. Everyone will agree. Okay. Now. Anyway, A also determining B. Now B is determining C. Okay. A is determining D. Let me repeat again. A B closer consists of A comma B because it is a trivial FD. A B determines A B. Then if you see that B is determining C. Okay. A is determining D. Okay. If you does not understand how I calculate the AB closer, I request you to go through the my earlier video where I have discussed how to compute the closer in a proper way. Okay. Watch that video and come back to this video so that you will understand the concept in a better way. So AB closer consists of D. So if AB closer consists of D, can be computed from the FDs and if it consists of D, then I will say that AB determines D is can be present in the set of FDs given in the Y. Okay, are you able to understand? So what I can say, A determines B is directly present in the Y, B determines C is directly present, AB determines D is indirectly present. So what I can say, all the FDs in the X can be derived from the Y. So the first rule is satisfied. Y covers X. Okay. Rule number one is Y covers X. Now I will check whether X covers Y or not. Meaning is that the FDs which are present in Y can be derived from X or not. Okay. The FDs present in the Y can be derived from the X or not. We will see. Okay. Now if you see that A determines B is present here. Okay. Present in the FDs in the X. B determines C, FD from Y is present in the FD set X. Okay. A determines C is not present. We should not say not present. We can say that it is not directly present. How we can check whether it is indirectly present or not? 
we will calculate a closer from where we will calculate the a closer if we calculate a closer from y then obviously c will be there but we have to calculate the a closer from the x okay so what is the a closer from x a closer will consist of a a closer consists of b b can derive c so and then a b combined is determining d so i can say that a closer is consists of c i want to calculate a determine c whether it is there or not when i can say a closer i will calculate from this one if it consists of attribute c then i can say that a determine c is indirectly present in the c sorry in the in the set given in the set x now a determines d whether it is directly present no it is not directly present we will check whether it is indirectly present or not how we can check indirectly present or not i will calculate the a closer from these fds present in the x and if i can calculate the d or if it contains d then i will say that a determines d is present if you see that i already calculated a closer okay a closer consists of a and a is determining b so b will be present b determines c so c will be there a b combinedly determining d so even a closer consists of d so i can say that a determines d can be indirectly present in the set x so what is the second row x covers y or not even we have proved that x covers y and y covers x what is the step 3 if y covers x and x covers y then i will say that x is equal to y here we have said that we have proved that y covers x and also we have proved x covers y then i can say that x is equal to y meaning is that these two set of fds x and y are equal okay i hope you have understood the concept with this example if you does not understand okay no problem i will discuss another example okay thank you so much